Uh, today we are going to revise the passive. Do you remember this lesson? Uh, first of all, here we have uh, question number one. She does the homework every day. To change from active into passive, at first you have to know your sentence. This is an active sentence. How do you know this? Because it starts with the subject she and our verb is does. The homework is the object. So, I have to start with the object when I want to change into passive. This is our object, as you see here. So, I will start with the word the homework. Here, let's start with this word. I will write here the homework. the homework here our verb is in the past or in the present it's in the present so I have to put verb to be in the present form is the bp3 from the word uh, or the verb does is done so I will write the homework is done where Every day, here by her. Let's see number two. The police caught the thieves. Here, look at our verb. It's in the past, so. I will put verb to be in the past too. I will start with the object. What is the object here in our sentence? Yeah, excellent. The thieves. The thieves here. I will use the word where instead of, uh, sorry, related to the thieves. Related to the thieves. The thieves were the BP3 from coat, coat by the policeman. As we see here in our sentence, the thieves were caught by the policeman. Okay, let's go to number three. He writes a lot of poems. Here, our object is a lot of poems. I will start with it. To change into passive, as we said before. Look here at our verb. It's in the present or in the past? Yeah, it's in the present. So, verb to be will be in the present too. I will start with a lot of poems. Poems. Is it singular or plural? It's plural, yeah. So, I will put verb to be. Which one? Is or are? Excellent, are. So, a lot of poems here are written by him. Can I write by he? Completely wrong. We can't do this. Okay, let's see number four. Here, mother has watered the flowers I want to start with the flowers the object that I have in my sentence so I will say the flowers has do you remember has watered it's present perfect yeah excellent so to change it into passive in present perfect I have to put have or has been it's baby three as you see here in our answer the flowers have why I put have here because of the flowers plural the flowers have been watered by mother. Okay, let's go to number five. We will play volleyball in the club. Which tense this sentence is in? It's in the future. Excellent. So, where is my object here? Volleyball. Excellent. So, I will start my sentence with volleyball. Well, after well, what? B. Remember this. Do you remember? Well, be played again. Volleyball will be played in the club by we. Can I write this? Completely wrong. By us. As you see here in your answer, volleyball will be played in the club by us. Let's see number six. My uncle drove the car to school. Which tense is this? 
our sentence in the past. Excellent. I will start my sentence with the object, the car. Okay. The car was, why I write was? Because the car is a singular noun. The car was driven to school by my uncle, as you see here in your answer. Okay. Okay, number seven. Muhammad didn't eat apples. Okay, here we have two important things. Our sentence at first in the past, and it's in the negative form. Okay, to change into passive, as we said before, I have to start with my object. Excellent. Okay, here I will write apples. Hmm. This is in the past, as we said before. Yeah, weren't because of apples and our sentence in the negative form so apples were apples weren't eaten by Muhammad as you see here in the answer let's go to number eight here the gardener will cut the trees okay as we said before we have to look at the tense of our sentence. It's in the future. I will start my sentence with the object, the trees. Here, the trees will be cut by the gardener. As you remember, the BB3 from the verb cut, cut off. As it is. Let's go to number nine. The children haven't drunk milk. Bean. Use bean. Okay, so first I have to look at my tense, as we said before. Excellent. Haven't drunk. It's present perfect. Okay, I will start my passive sentence with the object. It's milk. Excellent. So, I will write milk hasn't. Do you remember why we said hasn't? Yeah, because of milk. So, milk hasn't been drunk by the children. Okay. And now we are going to go to another uh, part, choose the correct answer. Here we have number one, books, dots by the students. Books huh, is read, are read, is written by the students. Which one is the correct one? Because here we have books, books here is a plural. Excellent. All right. Okay. Let's go to number two. Thieves dots by the policeman. Hmm. Thieves what? Our coat is coat is catching. Which one is the correct one? Thieves here. Ruler also. So it our coat. Excellent. Okay. Let's go to number three. The bag dots by the students every day. Remember, this is an active or a passive sentence. It's an, uh, sorry, it's a passive sentence. So, because it starts with, excellent, the object. The bag, hmm. The bag is carrying, is carried, isn't given by the students. Excellent. Is carried. What about uh, number four here? The gardener dots the grass every Tuesday. Is it an active sentence or a passive sentence here? Yeah, excellent. It's an active sentence because it starts with the subject. After the subject, I have to write the verb. After the verb, we have to write the object. The gardener here, what is the answer? Is cut, cuts, is cuts. Yeah, the correct one, cuts. Let's go to number five. The Egyptians dots Arabic. Speak, are spoken, are spoke. Huh. Egyptians here, it's the subject. It means it's an active sentence, so it will be speak. Let's go to number six. The pyramids dots by the people. All the people, sorry. The pyramids what? The pyramids 
This is an active or a passive sentence. It's a passive sentence, yeah, because it starts with this object, uh, the object, sorry. Isn't visited, are visited, visited. Excellent, are visited because the pyramids are a plural noun. Let's go to number seven. I have dots given by uh, a bike by my father. Been excellent. Let's go to number eight. The food are cooking is cooked cooked by my mother every day. Hmm. It's an active sentence or a passive sentence. Yeah, it's a passive one. Why? Because it's a start with the object. Okay. So I have to put verb to be plus BB3 because of what? Because of the word here every day. The answer will be excellent is cooked. And now please let's uh, go to number nine. The lesson dots by the professor last Tuesday. Last Tuesday it means our sentence will be in the past. Here we have the lesson, so it's a passive sentence. The lesson, singular noun, so I will use, I will uh, answer with was explained. So the lesson was explained by the professor last Tuesday. And now uh, we are going to... Uh, go to another part, the correct one. Let's go to the correct part. Number one here, some flowers pick by me. This is an active sentence or a passive sentence? Excellent, it's a passive sentence because it starts with the, the subject, uh, the object, sorry. Here we have a verb, our verb is pick. Is it right or wrong? Of course it's wrong, so the correct answer will be are picked because we said before after the object we have to put verb to be, after verb to be we have to put past participle of the verb. Let's go to number two. The room tidies every day. Here it's a passive sentence because it's the start with excellent. The object. The room here is it singular or plural? It's singular, so it will be is tidied every day. Let's go to number three. A nice picture is draw. Is it right to put up the verb to be draw? Excellent. We have to put PB3. It's drawing. Okay, let's go to number four. Some Pepsi was drinking by them. Can I say was drinking? Completely wrong. So I have to say drunk. Okay, let's see number five. The dishes was washed by me yesterday. Can I say was with the dishes? Completely wrong. I have to say where. Excellent. Let's go to number six. The homework is written fast last night. So this sentence is in the past. So I have to write was. Number seven, here. The old bike will sell. Yeah, we can say will sell, it will be sold. Okay, thank you, we have finished a revision about passive I hope you can understand uh, everything and now we are going to explain or revise if conditional one okay let's go okay with the one now we are going to revise if the first conditional as you remember if in the first conditional after it present simple the next sentence will plus infinitive future. Okay, let's see here the correct, uh, the first question, correct the mistake number one. If I goes shopping, I will buy a new computer. Can I say goes if I goes? Okay, so we can say this. 
it will be go. What about number two? She visit her aunt if she finishes the homework. Uh, sorry, the letter. As we said before, after if present simple, as we said here, finishes. Before if it will be yeah future. So the answer will be well visit. Okay, let's see here number three. If mom go to the party, she will buy a new dress. Hmm. Can I say mom go? Mom goes. Excellent. Okay, let's see here number four. He swam in the sea if he drives the, to the sea. After if present simple, before if, well plus infinitive. So he well swam okay let's see number five we will play the match if it not rain hmm. if it doesn't rain Let's go to the next part. Here we have rewrite. We will uh, rewrite this sentence again by using the word if. Number one, he will get high marks by studying hard. Okay, in the rewrite uh, part here. Number one, he will get high marks by studying hard. I wanted to start with the word F. Why here I will start with it? Because it starts with the capital I. Here, I, uh, here, uh, sorry, F. After if, as we said before, present simple. Which action must have happened before? Studying hard or getting high marks? Excellent, studying hard at first. So, if he studies hard he will get high marks okay let's see number two Sarah will catch the bus by sleeping early also here I have to start with the word F at the beginning of my sentence because it starts with capital letter so which action must happen first as we said before sleeping early or catching the bus yeah she must sleep early at first so she must sleep early at first. If Sarah sleeps early, she will catch the bus. Let's see number three. They will win the match by playing well. Hmm. So excellent. If they play well, they will win the match. Let's see here number four. As you see here, number four, they will get fed by doing sports. But here, if start with a small i, so I must write it in the middle of the sentence. Okay, as we said before, before if, well plus infinitive. So they will get uh, fed if they do sports. Let's see here, number five. Sammy will speak English fast by taking courses. Hmm. Which action must happen at first? Taking courses, and then you will speak English well or fast. Here, if starts with the small i, so I must put it in the middle of the sentence. It will be the answer. Sammy will speak English fast if he takes courses. Okay, thank you for watching our videos. I hope you understand each word that we explain it or revise it today. Thank you and see you soon.